What's up guys, Dude 1940 here, and this is episode 2 of our NHL 15 online goalie series. And in this episode, I'm going to be using James Reimer. That's right, of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Last night, an unbelievable game against the Detroit Red Wings. I couldn't believe that the Toronto Maple Leafs won that game. James Reimer just stood on his head, made 41 saves. Um, absolutely insane. Uh, really kept him in that game. I think the shots were like 42 to 19 or something like that in favor of Detroit. So, I mean, I, I thought Detroit played them the entire game. I, I really thought the Red Wings were going to win that one. But uh, the Maple Leafs came out with it. James Reimer, Optimus Rhyme, the Rhyme Minister, whatever they, however many nicknames they have for him. He just stood on his head. Is this guy going to click X? Come on, buddy. I want to play. I want to use James Reimer. Hmm. But yeah, what a bounce back game for James Reimer as well, because the last time he played, I think, was against the Nashville Predators when they lost nine to two. So, uh, so that was definitely a good uh, comeback game for him. Uh, we're gonna try to find another game here. Go back in. All right. But yeah, just a great game for James Reimer. Uh, as far as the rest of the Leafs, um, they played. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I watched the the whole game. It's just, uh, I really think the Maple Leafs need better defense. I, I don't know. Uh, I, they just uh, to me they need that that top defenseman back there because obviously Dion Phaneuf is not it. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know what happened to Dion Phaneuf. He was such a great defenseman back in Calgary. They dealt him to Toronto. He became the captain, and he just never became that real like top two go to defenseman. Uh, I know Morgan Riley got beat a few times. I, think, I forget who was by. I think it was like Thomas Tatar who just kept tearing through the defense. Um, you know, they had some good defensemen. Jake Gardner, Cody Franzen, uh, Stefan Robida. But, you know, they, they just don't have that top two. And offensively, um, I don't know. I saw in the beginning, I think it was even Nazem Kadri who was throwing some hits, which I haven't really seen too much of him before. Hopefully this guy plays. Looks like he's got two guests. Hopefully he plays. But, um, yeah, uh, the, the only thing, um, Phil Kessel, I saw he scored a, another goal. All right, sorry about that, guys. I just had to clip up the video a little bit. I, I started the game, and uh, I, I made sure I, I, I did the uh, position lock for goaltender, but then I actually forgot that James or that uh, Jonathan Bernier is one overall higher than Reimer, so Bernier is actually the starter. So I had to, uh, I thought I was going to have to restart the game, uh, but. I, I didn't know that uh, you could edit the uh, the goaltenders uh, mid-game. So I, I just paused the game at the beginning and changed it to James Reimer. So uh, let's see what we can do with the, uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs here against the, uh, the Boston Bruins. Yeah, one, one thing I, I noticed about Phil Kessel, he does, he, I mean, obviously, you know, he's a, he's a scorer and everything, and you, you wouldn't expect this from him. Oh, wait, wait a second. Put that on hold. Nice save, Reimer. Uh, but Phil Kessel, he does not like the physical side of the game at all. I mean, he he would go into the boards, and it seems like every time he goes into the corner to get the puck, or uh, like in the offensive zone, he'll like chip it around the back of the net. Um, you know, you could say that he's just trying to make you know a good play. Oh man, he he did the uh, the glitch goal on me. It works on uh, humans as well. He just went right across me, but. Um, so I get for talking about the uh, the game instead of the actual uh, like game here, but um, but yeah, it seems like he'll go behind the net to get the puck, and he'll just like chip it around, like do like a little behind the back slap, like behind the net, and he'll just like skate away. It seems like it just seems like he's always afraid to uh, to get hit. But um, but yeah, I mean obviously he's um not known for that. You know they he needs to stay healthy. All right, we we need to get this this goal back. Oh boy, Peter Holland, he's doing well. Uh, David Clarkson is also having a bounce back here. Is is it worth six million? No, but at least he's playing somewhat good hockey here. Dougie Hamilton, another player is having a good season. I'll get it. I'll get it. No, <laughs> rope it up. Picked it up. Morgan Riley picked that up. Oh, gave it away. He's got three guys. 
Joe Morrow. Slaps it way wide. All right. Or Riley up to Nazem Kadri. I actually saw today that Danny Heatley was sent down to the AHL for like conditioning or whatever. So <laughs> that that just that just cracked me up when I saw it. Danny Heatley, the All Star, sent down to the minors. Uh Danny Heatley. What happened? Age, I guess. But um, and another thing that really makes me mad, Zegmus Gergensens. Can somebody please tell me in the comments why this guy is number one? on the votes for the fan vote the for the All-Star game. I, I don't understand it whatsoever. Um, I, I looked at his stats. I was like, maybe I'm missing something. You know, maybe he's doing really well and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, maybe he has, like, 10 shorthanded goals or something. I'm, I'm not sure. I looked at his stats. He has, like, 15 points in 29 games or something. So he's on pace for about, what, 40 points or less? You know, he, he doesn't have any, you know, strange stat that would indicate that. You know, like, it's not like he has a 100% shooting percentage or, like, or any type of crazy stat that would make people want to vote for him. Uh, I mean, it's, it's obvious the voting isn't rigged, I guess. Uh, I saw, like, 80-something percent of his votes were from, like, Latvia, which that I can understand, you know, because he's, like, the only, like, Latvian-born player to ever play in the NHL. But still, are there that many hockey fans in Latvia that are voting for him? I mean, come on. Like, I, I looked at the list, and it was like 800,000 votes for Gergensen's and like 375 for Patrick Kane, who's number two. It's like, like seriously, he's, he's ahead by... He has like more than double uh, the amount of votes of the second-place guy. That's that's unbelievable. Uh, I, I don't know why. I mean, he's... He, I, I'm going to come right out. He's not an all-star. He's not... I mean, he's an average... Player, there we go. Who, who was that? No, that was number 18. Richard Panic. oh, from the Lightning. I don't even know how they got that guy. Did they sign him in free agency? I guess they must have, because I, I never heard anything about him being a Maple Leaf until I saw his first goal this year. We, like, went right in front of it. I think it was actually against the Lightning. But uh, I, I was really confused, because I, I think I looked at, like, the box score of the game or something, and, uh... It said Richard Panic scored, and it was the Maple Leafs against the Lightning, and I saw it was for Toronto. I was like, wait, is that a mistake? But uh, I had no idea that the uh, the Maple Leafs picked them up, but I guess it's a, it's a good signing. I don't know why the, the Lightning dropped them. Maybe they just couldn't afford them. Oh, there we go, JVR, just like that. It's 2-1. to one. All right. Did I watch the last goal? I didn't mean to if I did. It's too busy talking. But, um, oh, man, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, the uh, Richard Panic thing. But, yeah, I, I just, I had no idea that even happened. Oh, Reimer, get over there. Oh, I thought uh, Bergeron was going to spin that right around on me. Oh, that's a penalty. Dion Phaneuf's getting crushed. And I also saw tonight that uh, Jonathan Taves took a, a nasty hit from uh, Dennis Seidenberg from behind. There's been a lot of hits from behind. And uh, just a lot of suspensions recently in, a, in the NHL. Ryan Garbutt uh, on the Dallas Stars, he, like, swift-footed... Dustin Bufflin and uh, Hutchinson, their goaltender. Um, who else? Oh, man, now I'm forgetting. But the, there were a couple other players who have been suspended the past couple of days. It's absolutely insane. But uh, I, I don't know if Seidenberg is going to get uh, suspended or anything. I, I think he got a penalty on the play. Um, but uh, he hit Jonathan Taves right right into the boards. Uh, he hit his num right in the numbers. Uh, he went right into the boards. And I heard he went out. During the second period, he left and did not return. So, because uh, he went back to the bench initially and it was telling everybody that he was all right, and uh, he played on that power play. But I guess he uh, he wasn't all right. But uh, hopefully, he's not out for any big length of time. It looks like we've got five on three. Cody Franzen. And you Toronto fans, what what deal do you guys have to make? Because I I do think. Uh, especially in the Eastern Conference, if you guys keep up the pace that you're at, there we go. Three to one, Cody Franz with a bomb. I don't know where Tukaras was going, but uh, he flew out of the net there. But uh, I, I do think at the pace that the Maple Leafs are going, you know, with their record, if they can keep it going, and um, and based on how you know, uh, like how up for grabs the Eastern Conference is, I do think you guys have a. A decent chance of making the playoffs 
but it, you're got. I don't think the Maple Leafs. Uh, the Maple Leafs are definitely not cup contenders. I mean, I can see any team in the Eastern Conference really taking out the Leafs. But uh, I think they definitely could be a playoff team this year with JVR, Lupul, uh, Kessel leading the way. I mean, they have great depth this year as well. I mean, Mike Santarelli, I think, has been doing really well for them. I'm not sure how well David Booth has been doing. He tried to go across me again. Uh, Peter Holland has also been doing well for them. David Clarkson's finally uh, playing well. Let's, uh, but yeah, in goaltending, I'm not sure how Jonathan Bernier's been doing. I'm pretty sure Bernier's got more starts than Reimer. Um, I'd assume Bernier's a pretty good record. But, um, yeah, so what's that one trade that you guys need to make to become a cup contending team? Do you need to to go for that veteran forward? You know, a guy like, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think now of, that, of a perfect forward that you guys would be able to pick up. Do, do you need... A guy like a Patrice Bergeron, I mean, obviously not Patrice Bergeron specifically, but that type of player, like a Kessler Bergeron type player, a guy who's done it before. Uh, offensively, do you need to go for that top two defenseman first? Uh, I think goaltending, I don't I don't think you guys should be in the market for another goaltender anytime soon. I mean, I think Reimer and Bernier fight, fighting for the net uh, is good enough for right now. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it, it, what's that one player that you need? And what would what would the deal be? Who would be traded away? Would it be Dion Phaneuf? Would it be Cody Franson tied in with another forward? Um, you know, what's the future of, like, Nazem Kadri and Tyler Bozak? Like, all those players. I know Morgan Riley and Jake Gardner are still on the rise. Let's uh, see how those guys turn out. Now Lucic. Oh, missed the pass. Nope. Get get that. I don't want it to be icing. No. Slows down the game. Oh, all right. Tyler Bozak back to Franzen. Fran oh, hits Bozak. Somebody get to that. Sauced up. I don't know who this is. Is this Erickson? Yeah, Louis Erickson. Oh, I didn't see where that went. Dion Phaneuf to Bozak. To JVR. Back to Bozak. Over to Kessel. Great passing play by the Leafs. Kessel slaps it. Big save by Tukarask. Tyler Bozak turns around. Oh, man, he should have gone to JVR there. Kessel. Ooh, tried to slip it in. Kessel against his former team, the Boston Bruins. Could you imagine if the Bruins had the team that they have right now, plus Phil Kessel? Oh, oh. No, that's not going in. But uh, I think that's what the Boston Bruins need. I, I think they just they need that 30-40 to 40 goal score. They, they just don't have it. I mean, they have a ton of power forwards and two-way forwards. Guys like Bergeron, Krejci. Uh, Krejci is a playmaker, but, you know, Lucic, Marchand, like all these players, but none of them are big point producers. I mean, they're good in the, they're good playoff players. But, um, you know, you look at a guy like Patrice Bergeron, you look at his stats, he, he used to get 70-point seasons back in, like, 2006-2007. But in, like, the past five, six years, you know, he's gotten, you know, an average of, like, 50 points a season, which, you know, isn't, oh, ooh, man, that, that, I thought that was going in. But, um, you know, the Bruins, they, they just haven't had that, you know, 70-point, you know, player. They, they've, they've traded a few away. You know, they, they traded away uh, Phil Kessel. Oh, nice goal there for Joffrey Lupul. They traded away Phil Kessel. And one of the, the picks they got back, they t flipped, they, they turned it into Tyler Sagan. And uh, then they traded away Tyler Sagan. Um, so just just trade after trade, the Bruins are just trading away these big point-producing players, which I think is the biggest thing they're missing. Oh, yeah, that was that was a nice goal there. Zidane Ochara, is that his second of the game? He went right in there. Is that his second? Let's see. Yes, it is. Zidane Ochara. I heard he's uh, he's back from injury, so that's good for the Bruins. Hopefully they can turn it around. They've not been having the greatest season. Neither of the LA Kings. They've been in a, a big slump. I would know, especially Drew Doughty from my fantasy team. Has not been doing very well at all. <laughs> he got a couple of assists tonight, actually, against the uh, the Ottawa Senators. By the way, Bobby Ryan, that goal against the, uh, the LA Kings tonight, that was unbelievable. 
Oh, man, they are sniping it on me this game. Milan Lucic. I've got to stand further out in my net. Usually the uh, the spot to go on James Reimer's top glove. That was top blocker. Oh, they're coming back. I, I got to stop going butterfly. I, I got to start staying on my feet. I got uh, I hate how the goaltenders... I, I wonder when they're going to change that because they still haven't changed it for, what, five, six years now? How the goaltenders in this position... You see how the glove is, like, down at their side? Well, you'll see when they come down the ice. But, like, the way they hold the glove, they hold it, like, at their side. It should be up, like, at their shoulder, not their hip. I don't know why it's down like that. And when and when the the shot is taken, like, like top glove, they move their shoulder up instead of their glove. Which is just, they, like, they move their, they move more of their shoulder than their actual arm. Which, uh... Very unrealistic. Alright, 26. I don't know who that is. Is it 28? Is that Booth? Is it 20? Come on, throw it out. There you go. Alright, let's try staying on our feet. There we go. Reimer, throw it out. Oh, that was... That is, that, is that a penalty? That's the second game in a row I've been hit. No penalty. Come on. All right, hit sixteen to two. Come on, Toronto, gotta play more physically. I think I'm pretty sure they out hit Detroit last night. There were, there were a lot of hits in the beginning, especially uh, involving Dion Phaneuf, whether he was getting laid out or he was laying people out. All right, so the shot seventeen to twelve. None of this really matters because I'm playing goalie, uh, but I've made eight saves, or or what, what am I saying? I'm gonna need nine saves. I've made nine saves. Uh, Tuka Rask has made, what, 13? So, uh... So, yeah, not doing too bad. <laughs> not doing too bad. Um, but, uh, we, we've definitely got to keep the puck out of the net in this third period, that's for sure. Try to get this win out. I want to go... I want to go 30-0 and 0 in this series. I, I want to try to use all 30 teams, uh, and then cycle, cycle through the other teams. Or cycle through, like, other goaltenders. If I want to, like... Go around again. Cody Franza chips it in. Gets on that. Phil Kessel. Oh, and how about uh, Mike Milbury in the intermission? For those of you that are, uh, were watching it on NBC Sports, uh, Mike Milbury in the uh, uh, in the uh, intermission report. Th this guy is not afraid to call out any players. I mean, I've seen interview or not interviews. Oh, looks like Patrice Bergeron's getting kicked out. All right, but uh, oh, five minute power play as well. But uh, Mike Milbury, um, I've seen many uh, intermission reports and like uh, stuff on YouTube where he just rips on players uh, for like making bad decisions and bad plays and everything. He just goes, he, he just rants on them. And last night, uh, Dion Phaneuf, there was one power play. It was uh, Dion Phaneuf and Phil Kessel. They were just kind of like throwing it on the net uh, when there was like no traffic in front or whatever. It was easy saves. It was a five on three, and I. Uh, <laughs> He called Dion Phaneuf brain dead uh, for taking an, a shot uh, when there was like nobody in front and uh, it was an easy save or whatever, and ended up getting out of the zone. <laughs> he was calling he, he was calling him brain dead. It was a brain dead play, stuff like that. It it, it took me by surprise. You know, uh, Dion Phaneuf he he takes enough heat, man. <laughs> they don't need uh, uh, like all the all the analysts and everything all over him now too. Like NBC Sports and all that. David Clarkson snipes it. Top blocker on Tuka Rask. 5-3. to three. This is a high-scoring game. But yeah, Dion Phaneuf, man. He takes so much heat. I could see Dion Phaneuf going to a place like... Um, like Florida. Or or Arizona. Or uh, what's another one? Or, uh, or Buffalo. Or somewhere where there's not any pressure or anything. Because uh, right now, he, he's played for two Canadian teams in his uh, in his career, and he's just been hammered in Toronto the past couple of years. And all the fans, the analysts, everybody's just all over Dion Phaneuf. It's, it's insane. Poor guy. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how he withstands all that. That's that's insane. If I were him, I would uh, I, I would have been chased out of, out of the town by now. Okay, 
Here they come. Oh, to the middle. Nice save, Reimer. There you go, Phil Kessel. Oh, to Bozak. Two on one. Of course, he doesn't accelerate. Tries to make a deke. Loses it. Chara. They come, trying to trying to get something done shorthanded. Goes to the middle. Stay on my feet. Now I've got to go down. Oh, that should have been a goal. I hate those, like, deflections where it just ends up on their stick and I don't see it coming. All right, come on, Kadri. Nazem Kadri. Ooh, big save. And William Stike, another save. Look at that, boys. All right, I guess Kadri's got it. I'll play defense then. <laughs> Kadri, what was that? All right, I guess it, well, I, I thought it was going to be icing. Kadri got it. Oh, oh boy, that was not good. That would not have been good. Oh, easy save there for Reimer. Oh, I don't know what he's trying to do there. Trying to flick it on net. Forgot there was a back to the net. Phil Kessel to JVR. Coming down the wing. JVR makes a deke. David Krejci intercepts. Ben Reemsdyke gets it back. Throws it on net. Clarkson was there. He can't get past the goalie, though. David Clarkson with the four check. Gets it back. Loses it again. Up the boards. Cody Franzen intercepts. Dumps it back in. All right, 13 minutes left. I don't think we need another one. We just need to keep it pinned in their zone now. Lupul. Clarkson right in front. Oh, he should have gone in front of Santorelli there. Oh, Santorelli. Oh, couldn't stuff it. David Clarkson. Back to Franzen. Big save by Rask. Daniel Paye. Come on, I want to face some more shots at the end here. <laughs> Not those kind of shots. I want shots that hit the net. Jake Gardner. Man, what a trade that was with the... Uh, the Ducks, Francois Beauchemin for Jake Gardner and Joffrey Lupul. Is not is that not like the the be, that and the uh, the Luke Shen for JVR trade? Probably the two best trades the uh, the Maple Leafs have made. I can think of, I forget what the Thomas Cabral idea was. I think it was Joe Colborn and a first, but I don't know what the first round pick was that they uh, they got. I, I don't know what player it was that they drafted. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Another easy save. Back in the stats. It's Soderberg. Easy save for Reimer with the blocker. Booth up to Richard Panic. Back to Booth. Back to Morgan Riley. Oh, uh, we're diving all over the place. Panic. Back to Robida. Riley up to Smith. I don't know what his first name is. Is it Trevor? Booth. Big save by Riley. Ooh. Ooh, did Krupp just save a goal there? Or 45? I don't know. I don't even know who number 45 is. I thought it was 47. Ooh, tip there. Richard Panic. That's a penalty. That's right, just make this game take even longer. Dougie Hamilton, I think that was. Get in the box. Two for four on the power play. Down for enough. For James Van Riemsdyke. Around the net to Bozak. To Kadri. Oh, down for enough. Can't miss that one. I think he was trying to like one time it. Flick it at the net. JVR to Bozak. Bozak snipes it, and there it is. Tyler Bozak roofs it on Tuka Rask, and it's 6-3 to three, Toronto. Are the Bruins going to come back? <laughs> Are they going to score four goals in the last five minutes? Oh, man, I, 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 can, I can watch the highlights from that Game 7 to this day and still be in shock. Like, my jaw drops every time I watch those highlights of the, uh, the Bruins scoring three goals in the last like few minutes or not few minutes in the uh like the second half of that third period and then scoring in overtime to win it I, I couldn't believe it but uh yeah Santorelli oh Mike Santorelli what a deke on Duke Rask 7-3 Leafs from Daniel Winnick and Nazem Kadri but yeah I, I couldn't believe it I, I really wanted the Maple Leafs to win that series too I really thought they were going to do it uh, Kessel, across to Bozak. Oh, and that, that was only fitting, too. I mean, the Maple Leafs, it was their first playoff appearance in, like, a decade or something like that, or more than a decade, and they go out in that fashion. <laughs> that's, that's, that's unbelievable. Robida, to Van Riemsdyk. Morgan Riley, 
And how about the Detroit Red Wings this season, man? I, up until that uh, Toronto loss, they won, like, what, 7 of 8 and, like, 8 of 10 or something like that? They, they're they doing really well this season, which uh, kind of surprised me. But it's really their depth that's helping them out. I mean, Luke Glenn Denning, uh, Thomas Tatar, and all those guys. Uh, Stephen Weiss came back, and he's been doing really well. Darren Helm, Abdul Kader was doing well in the first part of the season. Uh, that's I thought that was going to be a cross crease. Uh, Zetterberg and Datsuk have, of course, been doing really well. Nicholas Cronwall, oh, man, I, I could not see that puck whatsoever. I don't even think that got tipped or anything. I just couldn't see that. Seth Griffith. He scored a nice goal a little while ago. Oh, cross crease, big save there by James Reimer. Oh, another shot on net save by Reimer. 15 seconds left. Oh, oh, what? Oh my god. I came off the post because I thought it was going to be a cross crease and went off my pad and went in. That's a James Reimer style goal right there to give up in the last few seconds. Uh, Dougie Hamilton, what happened? Did the puck even go in the net? Oh yeah, great camera angle. Oh yeah, it's... What, where did that even go? Did that... S uh, we'll get the replay at the end of the game. I'm sure we'll have time. I don't know how that snuck in there. I came off the post because I thought it was going to be like a cross crease. And uh, it just bounced awkwardly there. Reimer, give it up. Oh, Reimer. Another save there. Another save. This time I'm staying on the post. Oh, he waited way too long to take that shot. And there it is. The Toronto Maple Leafs. A 7-5 to five victory over the Boston Bruins. We're going up all the levels here. All right. 64 coins, yeah. Get a uh, bronze player for maybe 50 coins. All right, so shots 30 to 24, so I made, what, 19 saves? Not bad. Uh, time on attack, 7 minutes to 5. Yeah, the, the Bruins took a lot of penalties. The The Maple Leafs did not take a single penalty. They were 3 for 5 in the power play, so. So there you go, Toronto. The three stars of the game. JVR, Zidane Char, and Tyler Bozak. That is your summary. Home stats, let's see. Yep, JVR, Lupul, Santorelli, Bozak, Kadri, Kessel. Uh, what was the one thing I wanted to check out? Oh, yeah, the, uh, that that last goal. I don't know how that happened, man. And, and this was another similar play right here. Just shot it. That time I stayed on the post. So it was an... Wait, let me, let me just go up here. That time I stayed on the post. So it was an easy save. Now, right... He should have let this shot... I don't think he expected it to come to him, but he should have let it go right there. He, he had the entire... My shoulder was down, and then he had the entire left part of the net. He could have easily scored there. And then he, he, he extended his arm, which really did not help him. And then he tried to shoot off the back of the net. Oh, oops. Did not mean to back out there. Uh, but that last goal... That was, uh, that was pretty bad. Um, yeah, we can go back far enough. Yeah, right here. I, I, I thought it was going to be a cross crease. It's right here. Krejci. Here, who is this? Brad Marchand. And then it was Dougie Hamilton who picked up. And first of all, I didn't see this shot coming. And I, I, I expected it to... I, I don't even know what I expected. I, I just could not see. Like, th this was my view right here. This was my view. I, I could not see if he was even going to shoot that puck. Now let's see where it even fit. Shot it. Yeah, it went. Oh yeah, it hit that little part of the net. It went off my my skate. If I had went out a little bit further, it would have completely missed me and went wide of the net. But not just tipped off my uh, my skate there, my pad, and went in the back. But uh, it doesn't matter because we still won the game, seven to five. So if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like. I will see you guys in the next episode.